If you're ready to start making some cozy fall crochet or knit projects and you don't really know where to start or you don't want to go out and buy more yarn, let's take a look and we'll start in your stash and figure out what's a fall yarn. You might want to be doing some projects because fall is the perfect time to really bring out your crochet. While a lot of people do crochet fun like summer garments, I think we don't always think of those near as much as we think of fall cowls and scarves and ponchos and all sorts of cozy goodness. And there's so many great fibers and textures and patterns out there. I've even seen like patterns with all sorts of fall leaves on them and in them and constructed with them. So this is really the perfect time to jump in. I'm definitely like a fall all year round type of person and you might not be. So if you're not, I think there's a few easy things you can do, go through your stash, or if you're going to a store and don't really know where to start, there's a few key factors we can work on. So we're gonna talk about color, fiber, and texture. <laughs> Let's get into it. The really amazing thing is some of these yarns actually like have everything in there. So you get like a triple dose of fall. I think the easiest place to start out is going to be like your foliage colors because that's really what fall is the most known for is like the beautiful fall foliage, the turning of the leaves. I recently did a project. I will have it linked for you and this yarn was even called fall festival. Fall festival or harvest festival, something like that. It'll be in the video that's linked and as you can see it has got great fall all colors you know a couple different colors of green your mustard your orange your red and I really don't think anyone can <laughs> argue these are great fall colors and while in the video I do have exactly this yarn that I used it's already even packaged together so you don't even have to think. You can use the foliage inspiration if you're going shopping or looking through your stash and seeing what, you know, you may have already purchased and not even thought about it. There's a good chance you have these colors already and if they're the same weight or um, the same fiber, you can definitely pair these up and put them together in a project to make a foliage inspired project and you don't even have to use all of these you know you could use just use a couple and still pull off a really good fall look another super easy place to start for fall coloring is going to be your Halloween yarn and I do also have a video on this scarf that I did I really really love it and I love these colors because to me it isn't so like traditionally Halloween-y. It's not like your purples and greens. I just wanted something that was, you know, kind of spooky and autumnal, and I thought this was an absolutely great yarn. It's called All Hollows. It'll be in the video, but I will also have it linked if you're looking for something like this. But you can pull out of there, you know, you've got like a lot of those like dark midnighty. um, there's, you know, it's like a charcoal, but there's also like an indigo, like a dark indigo blue and like a deep green and then the mustards going into those orange and reds. Very autumnal. One of my favorite ones is this Super Saver. I absolutely love the coloring. I think this is great autumnal if you're looking for something stripes. Another option I, that's really gotten into like that fall category are some of these like almost, I would call them Southwestern type of colorways. This one right here is a Knit Picks yarn and what I'll do is I'll link the video below. It's really old. The yarn that I used has been discontinued but Knit Picks does have one that is uh, fairly similar which I'll link and then this yarn right here I bought from another YouTuber right here. I'll have her channel linked below but it is those great like southwestern colors and they go great for fall crochet and knit. In case you don't want to watch the video, this was a virus shawl I did and it is the tutorial I used is by the Snugglery. I'll have that down below. And then of course like jewel tones are some of my favorite for fall. I think they go great into winter but I love like the emeralds. I love the amber. Um, you've got like like a darker 
Um, I don't know if you'd call that more of a sapphire color. Jewel tones are great for the fall, and especially if you might want a little bit cooler tones and you're not so much into like the burnt oranges and the brick reds of the foliage colors, jewel tones might be a great option for you. So let's talk fiber. With temperatures cooling down, wool is such a great fall yarn to work with if you have no allergies. I absolutely love this wool. It is just soft and drapey. I have been finding myself gravitating to a little bit smaller weights of yarn or like finer weights of yarn just so I can make some of these like really drapey projects. But I have found that I also really, really love a little bit higher quality yarn like a merino. I actually got really excited because I was able to make this bag behind me that has beautiful fall colors and is made out of high quality wool from the sponsor of today's video. Let me tell you about it. I was so excited to make this bag in fall colors from the products in my Hooks and Needles subscription box. And if you don't know about Hooks and Needles yet, they're a subscription box that's the go-to choice for crafters who love either knitting or crocheting. Subscribers have the flexibility to choose between either knitting or crocheting, and they even offer an Amigurumi subscription box. This allows everyone to pick a box that meets the needs that they enjoy most or are the most in eager to learn. These kits are perfect for beginners and more experienced crocheters who are looking to improve their skills. There's easy to follow instructions that make it accessible for newbies while also potential for skill development for those wanting to advance their abilities. You can learn new stitches and new techniques out of this box. My favorite part of this box is the high quality yarn. I thought this was absolutely beautiful and perfect for the fall. The instructions came in this well done magazine and the kit also had everything I needed, the purse straps and the little tassel and it had a few gifts in there as well like the scissors and crochet hook, which I absolutely love. It is super easy to get your box in the mail and you can control when you get it. You can pause it or cancel at any time. If you're interested in a subscription box from the sponsor of today's video, I'll have a discount code for you here and there'll be a link down in the description box for you to use that will take you right to it. So thank you Hooks and Needles for sponsoring this video. The third thing to really pull out some of your fall yarns and especially if you find like these colors and these color schemes aren't really like if they just aren't your jam because I know not everyone is into these same colors as I am I think that the third thing the texture of the yarn might really be what helps you find fall yarns texture can be such an important thing really like indicating the seasons are changing and it's getting a little bit cooler I've got this just yarn plush right here and it is just a fuzzy it's not really like an eyelash yarn, but it's definitely a fuzzier yarn. And I am excited because I'm going to be working on a project in a couple weeks with Rachel from the Faded Wildflower Crochet, where we're each going to be taking this same yarn. I'm not sure what color she's going to be using, but we're going to be using the same yarn. And her channel is primarily Amigurumi, and mine is much more into wearables. So we're going to be using the same yarn and coming up with completely different projects this fall. So if that is something you're interested in, I would love it if you would subscribe so you won't miss out on that. And I'll have Rachel's channel linked down below as well. But fuzzy yarns are perfect for fall. Same way with velvet yarns. They can be a little bit trickier to use. And I have an old video where I talk about my secret to crocheting with velvet yarn. I will link that below but if you don't want to go watch that video I'll just let you know what the secret is. It is pairing velvet yarn with a very fine weight yarn. I like to use Hirschner's Afghan yarn. It's like a two weight, kind of feels like a one weight and there's a bazillion colors. I will have a link to that. It's not an affiliate or anything. I just really love the Hirschner's Afghan yarn, but I find it, since it's synthetic and velvet yarns are, I think, always synthetic, <laughs> 
Um, I find it's great to pair together because you've got similar washing and drying instructions and it just blends in so well. You don't really see that you've got two together, but it just helps give that velvet yarn a bit more structure and tends to help avoid that like loopy and wormy look. And maybe you might start enjoying working with velvet yarn a little bit more if you currently don't. This would be a great opportunity to pull it out this fall and give it a try and see if you like it a little bit more. But even just your plain basic acrylic yarns like I've got um, here, you know, now is the season where you chances are won't be near as hot in some of the acrylics as you would be in the summer. Great time to pull those out. And of course, anything with that's a little bit fuzzier and has a little bit more of a halo. Um, maybe not be so much in this early fall season, but as it gets a little bit later into fall and turns into winter, your fuzzier halo type of yarns. Um, I know this is called halo, but I just mean anything with the halo to it, the fuzziness is gonna be great for a fall yarn. And it doesn't have to be like a brown. I've got some of this in like a teal and a cranberry, and I think those would also be great this fall. Do you have a bonus tip as well? And again, this could be any color, but the weight of the yarn, while I know I just got done saying that I've really been loving working with finer weights of yarn, fall is great to pull out some of of these nice thick bulky weight yarns and really start working with them. I've got a cowl that I made and I just kind of made it up. It, there's no pattern or anything. I just did like a really large, basically like a mesh, like a fishnet or a mesh. And I did it out of some super bulky yarn. I'll go ahead and try to put a picture in over here for you to look at. Um, it won't go with my outfit, but <laughs> <laughs> but just something that's nice and maybe grab some of your big thick six weight yarn and make a fun accessory for yourself out of that this fall because I know when I am hot and it's 80 or 90 degrees I am definitely not thinking about this type of yarn so now is great I hope this video is helpful if you have been wanting to do some fall projects but you're like I don't like brown or I don't like orange I hope you can dive into your stash or if you're a person who likes to buy for a project, watch this video and head to the store and pick out something that maybe fits into one of these other categories so you can get going on your fall accessories. Thank you so much for talking yarn with me. I always appreciate it. Bye! Mm -hmm.